had a two week power outage in Weaver, and it was mostly because we couldn't get them to fly in fuel. It was, it was 50 below for about two weeks. So we've also, many of you have heard about our biomass initiative, getting our heating systems converted from predominantly diesel fuel fired to something that can be locally sourced, for biomass systems. And so we had a project out in Minto a few years ago, and they received uh, some grant funding to install a biomass system that was going to heat the Lakeview Lodge and also the rural clinic out there. We started out with um Alternative energy about seven years ago, we um, had some solar panels put on our city building. And then we also uh, got a biomass program at the same time as Coico and Anvic. And that's working real good. Uh, so then uh, I started talking with Dave about a solar panel project, which hadn't been done here in an interior, a massive solar pan panel project, which is, will produce about 100 kW of electricity electricity through battery storage right at right into the grid at our power plant so um, at Hughes we pay um, landed in Hughes for 4200 gallons of uh, diesel fuel we pay about 20 to 21 thousand dollars and that happens every month so um, we are trying to reduce that cost and cut the cost of our our, um, our 71 cents uh, um, but we pay um, a kilowatt hour. There's a lot of opportunities in having the six-pack license. I really encourage you people that always are asking me how I got my license and how you go about it. Here's a great chance right now to uh, get, this, um, get this opportunity to get your six-pack license because, like I said, there's, you know, fires will never, they'll never stop. And it'll be sad that you go to these places within a few years and can't get uh, your boat hired because you don't have the six-pack license. And just once you get that, just be real responsible into keeping your license, keeping your uh, insurance, all that straight. I mean, it costs a little bit of money, but um, still you would have an opportunity to do a lot of other things. And you'd be amazed by uh, people that uh, can help you. I'm also here to promote the Tanah Chief Fire Crew. Um, we are still hiring at least a couple more slots to be filled. I'm assuming at least four to five. That's what prevention work is: is 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 helping others see how a change needs to be made. And um, so, in prevention, we're we're working on this engagement plan right here to show how cooperation, collaboration, and communication works to sustain something. Um, our Division of Wellness and Prevention, we shouldn't be going out to each individual community and doing the prevention work. We should be supporting the work that the community is doing. So that first, first plane came in, I made an announcement. <clears throat> I put it on Facebook. So, you know, everybody heard about it on Facebook. And then, well, I wrote it where I stated was slow down the bootlegging, slow down the alcohol that's coming into the village and slow down the drugs. By us going down there and searching the plains like our elders and our folks did back in their days. So as soon as we posted that, it wasn't just me. It was a handful of us that went down there. More than this, I was happy to see a bunch of us went down there and searched the plane and said that's enough. Hey.